Hi everyone, my name is Pranav Bhagat and I am a senior developer advocate here at ServiceNow. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can easily build an app using Now Assist. But before that, let's talk about what happens in a traditional app development process. So when I talk about traditional app development process, right, it requires you to have extensive technical knowledge. You need to understand the whole data model. You need to know how to configure flows and lastly, write code. Complex, right? I know. So that's where now Assist for creators comes to rescue. It contains different Gen AI skills, which makes your app building process on the ServiceNow platform much more faster and smoother. It contains app generation, which allows users to create a basic functional app using natural language. It has, it has the power to create flows using natural language. You can easily create multi-step flows with it. You can also generate code Right, so if you're someone who don't like who don't like to write codes, you can do that using analysis for creators, right? And for our business users who who wants to create processes and they might not have high technical knowledge, so they can utilize analysis for playbook generation to do that. And lastly, if you want to report on the whole application, you can do you can utilize data data visualization to create all the reports. So let me show you how all these things works. All right, to start the app building process, we are in the ServiceNow Studio itself. I'm gonna click on the Now Assist icon and I'm gonna simply say, I want to create an app. So let me provide some details about it. As I mentioned, it's a simple training application that I want to create for my organization. So let me just simply tell it. Now it is asking me, can you give me some more details about it? So let me provide some more details. So now I'm telling that uh, now says that this will contain a training topics table, which will be managed by the training coordinator and the table will contain the topic name, date and time and everything. So let me just simply click enter. It's asking me, do you want to capture any other information for each training session? I'll say no. So it is asking me now what operation should training coordinators be able to perform on the training records. I'll say full control. And I'm going to pin it also. Does anyone else need to interact with these records? No. Absolutely. I would love to have a record producer. I'll say all. All right, so it created a simple app, but I would like to add some more details to it. So I'm gonna click on make changes. And now, now I'm gonna ask the app, like I want some more, two more forms, one for the trainers to, who can volunteer for the trainings and another form for attendees to register for the training session. And I'm gonna provide the details. So let me just click send. So it's asking me, do I want to capture any other fields apart from that? I'll say no. Same for attendees. I don't want any other fields other than what I mentioned in the prompt. So now it's saying what operation should trainers and attendees be able to perform. I'll say create and read. I'll say yes. I'll say all. Same for attendees also. All right, it created an app, but I still need to add one more table to collect the feedback. So let's click on make changes. Create, read and write. Absolutely, all. Now, as you can see, it has created the whole training application. So let me click on the preview app just to see how it looks. So it will take a while to generate all the components. All right, so our app is now created 
and now let's verify whether everything is created i'm going to unpin this thing up so the first thing is like the training topic is created we wanted a topic name as well as a date and time perfect we wanted a table which will uh, so that the trainers can volunteer for the uh, training topics we have this thing we can select the topic session type whether it will be in person virtual and the trainer information which is referencing to the user table that's there and then we have one form for the attendees where they can select the topic and uh, the attendee name will be there and date and time is there perfect and lastly we have the attendee form that's also created we have the selected topic we have all the fields that we requested in the feedback form we also have the roles for attendees trainer and training coordinate coordinator that are created and also we have the record producers that is created for each form and that's how we have created an app using now assist for app generation all right so now our app is created what we're going to do is like we're going to click on the now assist again and we're going to save the app and open it up so it, we're going to save it for us all right perfect now our app is created so what i would like to do now is like i'd like to set up a flow a reminder flow basically to remind the attendees as well as the trainer that their training is coming up soon right so for that what i'm going to do is like i'm going to utilize now assist for flow generation so let's do that and i'm going to just click on this and let me click on the plus icon i'm going to click on file I'm going to search for flow and let me search and I'm going to put my simple training app here. Click on continue. So now I'm going to name the flow as reminder email for attendees and trainer. And I'm going to just describe it also. So I'm going to just paste the prompt and this is a scheduled job that will be triggered every day at 2 a.m. And it should look up for the training session whose date is two days from now. And we're going to generate the flow. All right. So you can see the now assist has created a flow for us. You can see it's a trigger. The trigger is set to 2 a.m. As we mentioned, uh, it will look up for the records in the training session. Go through each record, look for attendees as well as trainer and send them an email. So let me click on save and edit. All right, so our flow is generated. We can test this thing up and then we can activate this thing. All right, now we'll create a script using Nowsys for code generation. Basically, uh, if somebody has already volunteered for our topic, we don't want somebody else to volunteer. So we'll create a simple business rule uh, and utilize Nowsys for code generation and see what code we get out of it. So let's go click on the uh, the plus icon we're going to click on file i'm going to select here business rule and we get business rule i'm going to click on continue and i'm going to select advance and it will run on inserted now i'm going to select table as training volunteer training oh sorry it's trainer volunteer and I'm going to just simply say validation script. Now I'm going to go in advance. I'm on my Windows machine. So let me just click on control plus enter to open the code generation view. I'm going to give a prompt where we just have to create a script to query the trainer volunteer table. Uh, and uh, let's see what we get out of it. And Let's see. So we got a good code. So it's basically going into the trainer volunteer table and uh, there it is query, adding a query to the training session. Definitely we can just change the field and uh, then it's setting a limit and then it's aborting it if there is already a volunteer. So kind of it gave us a 90% accurate code. So what we just have to do is like uh, put the right table name as well as the right uh, query. So let's accept it and other volunteer table opened up so i'm gonna just select the table name and then i know it's like selected topic 
so we have selected topic here so i'm going to just click it here and here we don't need the record active equal to true i can remove it just format the code and i think we have the whole code that's ready let me just submit it all right so let's go ahead and test it now so i'm in the trainer volunteers table we don't have any volunteers so let's go ahead and so let's go ahead and select a topic so i'm gonna do like service now fundamentals i'm gonna select a trainer as able tutor session type will be in person let's save it so i'm able to save it now let me go ahead and create another one so i'm gonna select service now fundamentals select able again select someone else as a trainer and just select in person and try to submit it so you can see that the script worked it's saying there is already a volunteer for this particular session so that's about now assist for code generation now uh, so whenever we are building this application maintaining a consistent process for that particular app is very crucial that's where now says for playbook generation comes handy so let's create a proper process using now says playbook generation so we're going to go back to our service now studio i'm going to close all these tabs now firstly i'm going to click on plus icon click on file i'm going to say here as simple training whatever the application and i'm going to select playbook and you can see playbook is there now let it load now we have the playbook form that's open now we're going to give it a name now what i can do is like i'll give a prompt like what kind of the you know, process we want to create so i've given it a proper prompt like what will happen in stage one stage two stage four five like that and let me click on generate playbook it will take a couple of uh, seconds to generate the whole playbook and then we'll see how it's there all right so based on our requirements the whole playbook is generated we want to review a session then we have to verify the trainer details then basically uh, we'll, we need to manage the attendee registration prepare them and lastly start the session and take feedback from them so i think this looks good and let's save and edit it so that's how we have created an app added code to it then we have also added a playbook to it now what we have to do is like we need to do some reporting on it so we're going to utilize now assist for analytic generation all right so now let's open an existing dashboard first and we're going to utilize now assist to add reports to it so firstly we have a dashboard here now i'm going to click on now assist icon i am going to pin it and now i'm going to click on create a new data visualization it will ask me what kind of visualization i want so let me give a prompt so i would like to see a list of all the training topics that are there so i'm going to say show all training topics as list so let's click on add to current dashboard and we can see it has created a report for us for all the training topics so in similar fashion you can create more reports based on your app for my case i'm fine with one report and according to your use cases you can create more report and that's pretty much it that i wanted to cover in this video so you know you now know how you can create an app using now assist for creators let me know in the comment section what do you think about it and if you like the video click on the like button and make sure you subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss these kind of videos and i'll see you next time bye bye